welcome back to my channel. So I didn't do a favourites video last month because I think time was just going by so quick that I actually forgot and then it got too late in the month and I was just like yeah I'll just wrap it all up into one video and I don't think I had that many favourites anyway so it's kind of a good thing and yeah but finally I have got some things to show you and tell you about so let's just get straight into it. Oh and before I start I will leave the name of the lipstick that I'm wearing down below in the description box along with like a list of all the products that I'm going to mention in this video. So let's get started. First things first I'm going to mention something that is hot on everyone's lips and it has been since it was released and yeah at first I was just like me I'm just not gonna jump on this hype like you know you know I'm always always late to the party I kind of like to see what's going on and then and then kind of make my mind up and see whether I want to spend my money um, and see whether it's worth it but um yeah after you know lots of thinking and it, I, it honestly didn't take me very long I had to get my hands on the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance eyeshadow palette and honestly it's just absolutely gorgeous I love that the packaging on the outside is this really really kind of like nice felt material it just feels super high-end and also it's very very different and I love this kind of dusty kind of rose that is on the packaging enough about the packaging though the eyeshadows inside are incredible so you get 14 eyeshadows in there and um, you've got your nice kind of normal warm tones your everyday kind of warm tones and browns and things like that that you can use um, and then they've kind of thrown in some random pink shades um, and kind of like like a pinky brown shade right here um, just some a couple of different shades where you would normally look at it and be like I'm never gonna use you and I don't really know what to do with you but honestly you can do so much with this palette. I have done a tutorial, it was my last video, with this palette and I've shown you how to um, incorporate shades like this, so this bright pink shade here. Um, I've shown you how to incorporate it into an eyeshadow look um, with it not looking so overpowering and it not looking like you've got bright pink on your eyes if you don't want to go for that look however if you want to just whack on a load of bright pink then why not um but yeah i just love it it's such a gorgeous palette it's very very different and i think it is a bit of a must-have i got mine from cultbeauty.com um, so you can grab yours there and I must say delivery was super super fast and I was very impressed so yeah if you haven't got this palette I would definitely recommend checking it out next up I have a skincare favorite and it's the Kiehl's ultralight daily UV defense sunscreen um, it's SPF 50 high protection um, yeah it protects you from UVA and UVB now I know you're probably thinking aren't you just go to Boots or Superdrug and just pick up any SPF for your face but I'm really really particular with it just because I wear a bit of makeup and I don't like the SPF that I'm using to kind of interfere with my makeup and how my makeup wears throughout the day I don't like touching up my face so I want something that I can pop on and yeah it's just not going to disturb the rest of my face makeup for the whole day and then on top of that we are now in the summer months I know it doesn't really feel like it if you live uh, in the UK or in London um, but yeah I am off on holiday next week to Vegas and LA and it's going to be super hot there so I wanted something that is really really going to protect my skin um, but at the same time work really well with makeup also I have terrible scarring at the moment so a high SPF is super important to me just to ensure that those scars don't get any darker in the sun. My mum suffers from a little bit of dark pigmentation around the face and she's been using this product for about a year and a half and she has seen a bit of a difference. Obviously it's not going to, her pigmentation is not going to disappear completely but um, it's made a difference and it's made it a little bit lighter so that is why I have chosen to use this one it's a lightweight formula for all skin types fragrance free non comedogenic and oil free so all four of those points that they have on the front of this bottle are all thumbs up from me I love the fact that it doesn't clog my pores it's not super thick whatsoever it honestly does sink into your skin so quickly and easily and the fact that it's oil free is just perfect because like I said it doesn't interfere with my makeup um, I have another skincare favourite so I think I'll just get it out of the way it's 
the Dermalogica Skin Hydrating Mask. Uh, I think in a haul a few videos back I showed you some Dermalogica products that I bought um, and here I am giving this one a shout out. Um, yeah, this is what it says on the tin, a skin hydrating mask. I love this after I've exfoliated, so I don't exfoliate every day, I exfoliate like every few days. I use a gentle one from Dermalogica, so I can use it more than once a week. Um, but yeah, every time I use that, I do like to pop this on after, and normally with face masks, I just pop them on, leave them on for about 15-20 minutes and then I wash them off but this one you can sleep in it and in the morning my skin feels like a baby's butt, no joke, so smooth. Also this is good for scarring and things like that. It's got hyaluronic acid in it that traps moisture um, to deliver hydration and suppleness. Definitely can agree with suppleness. Skin feels so supple. So yeah, I just really enjoy using this and you can take this kind of around the eyes also. It's just a really nice lightweight mask that I don't really have to think about too much. Moving on, I have a foundation and a primer that I am completely obsessed with at the moment and it's the Marc Jacobs Coconut, no what is it called, it's the Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer, God what a mouthful, um, yeah I'm not going to go into it too much whatsoever because I've done a full review and demo on the uh, primer and the foundation which I can link down below for you, um, but yeah the foundation is the remarkable full coverage, full, sorry full cover foundation, my eyes are going funny, um, and I've got this in the shade 52 Honey Light, if you're looking for something full coverage and super matte if you're oily then this is the one to go for but like I said if you want to know more about these two products then definitely check out my review and demo um, and yeah I just love these. Next up I have a drugstore favourite and it is the Sleek uh, Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream so basically a matte liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Velvet Slipper. It's very very similar to what I'm actually wearing today but slightly darker. Um, I do have a few more shades of these, in fact I have the whole range of the um, matte liquid lipsticks by Sleek and they are all gorgeous. What I love about them is the texture, they don't actually feel really dry on your lips whatsoever and they last all day. So if you're looking for something a little bit more budget and you can't stretch to the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones or the MAC ones or even if you can, who cares? Get these because they are super nice. Finally I have a perfume because I never really mentioned scents on my channel but this one I feel deserves a shout out just because I've received compliments when I've been wearing it and I thought hmm, let me just tell all of you guys. Um, and it's the Michael Kors Coral perfume and I have the, how big is this bottle? I have the 100ml bottle. Yeah, this smells right, let's not spray this. Oh God, it smells summery, that's what it smells like. It smells, um, I'm really rubbish at describing smells. It smells like, it's sweet. I love sweet scents, but it's not sickening. Um, it's not like a, it's not like a Britney Spears perfume kind of sweet, although I do love that smell. Um, this is a bit more fresh and florally, but sweet at the same time. There we go, I'm getting there. That's how I would describe this scent, and I have received a few compliments when I've been wearing this one. I love it when people do that, um, because you find throughout the day that you actually can't smell yourself. Um, and when people are like, what perfume are you wearing? You're like, why? Talking about me? Me? Um, or when someone's like, oh, someone smells good, and you're like, is that, is that me? <laughs> um, yeah, it's such a good feeling. But yeah, it's all down to this perfume. Um, so it's such a lovely kind of summer, fresh, but sweet scent. Um, so if you're looking for something new, then this one is good. But yeah, I think that is everything. Make sure you're following me on Snapchat, because I am always showing you guys things on snap you know um also i'm thinking of doing another i'm thinking of doing a snapchat q a soon so follow me on snap if you'd like to ask me anything anytime soon and plus i am going on holiday soon i don't think i'm going to be, be vlogging but i'm going to be snapping my holiday my whole holiday so if you want to see live what i'm up to in vegas and la then yeah get on there i will leave my snapchat name down below for you and make sure you follow me on insta and twitter and anywhere else you want me to follow me around on the streets 
yeah um, but yeah thank you so much for watching guys make sure you subscribe if you haven't already thumbs up and comment down below if you've tried any of these products before um, or if there's anything you could recommend to me but yeah I'll catch you all in my next video Mwah. bye